Hello and welcome. It's Tilly Cube and I'm here. Oh, oh, pulling everything out. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a acrylic pour on a piece of MDF. And I intend on putting this MDF board into a frame that I bought. So I bought the frame here and I intend on putting it, sitting it back in this frame. Oh, it has got a piece of plastic and glass on it, but that'll be, I'll show you that stage. But the MDF, I'm going to put a base coat on it and then I'm going to pour on it. So I'm, I'm going to just put this black navy as my boo as a base coat. I have done this way before and it hasn't had any adverse effects on the on the MDF. Um, and because I'm actually um, going to frame it, I'm not too worried about these sides either. So it's obviously a lot cheaper to buy pieces of MDF and have them cut to um, reasonably priced framed sizes than buying canvases because this would have turned out because my husband bought a big sheet and I pinched some and he cut some pieces down so this probably wouldn't have even cost you know three dollars maybe so um it's a really um, economical, plus it's a really good sturdy board. So if you were wanted to make a, um, an acrylic art piece for a sign or something pretty in the front of your house with your house number on it, then you could do it on this, do your artwork, put your house number or your house name on it, um, resin it or coat it with an external quality varnish, and then all good. Bob's your uncle all good so there you go that is my base coat and I think I would like to do today some well I've got some lovely colors here and I didn't know whether I should flip cups or or blow but I think I might um, actually do some flip cups yeah I'll just move this forward for a second or two while I load up some flip cups to pour and then go from there. So I think I might only do three flip cups and leave some negative space or I could could maybe do one flip cup and leave some negative space. Let's see how I go. So I've got this bit of cool blue left in the bottom and I am going to pour. Um, colors for the flip cup into the so I'll pour the gold which is the metallic gold which is gorgeous I'll go with the um, metallic copper um, go to the turquoise these colors are always lovely in flip cups I I believe I'm going to actually add in that one. I've got some wicker here. So that's a lot. I love this wicker colour. It's like a yellow orange, like not a very candy kind of looking orange. Pour the rest of my copper in there. And uh, my um, gold back to the turquoise. Now, should I add, which I have here, I've got a red, really nice red. It still goes with all those colours, so um, the red and the turquoise always look nice. So I don't know if I'm <laughs> going to spoil it with that, but let's give it a go. Why not? Okay. go back to the red radio I actually think I may need some more of a base coat on here so I'll pour a bit more of my black so I've got some paint on there to actually help move the rest of the paint around because I'm only doing one flip cup flip and drag I think I'll do it flip 
and drag. I haven't done one of those for a while. So you need plenty of paint on there. So to give you paint, something to slide on. Rightio. Woo, look at those colors. Let's pull this all back here so you can see what I'm doing. Wow. Maybe I'll just take it around a bit. Flip and lip. Wow, look at those colours. Super duper. And those colours in there too. Pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna just hit that with my heat wand. Some lovely lacy cells coming up. when you do these flip cups to not have too many lacy cells sometimes it's less is best let's see how this moves around now might do it over this one side but leave the negative space down the other end that may be a nice um, composition I think just tur uh, just just a gentle tilt but just remember when you've tilted it, you always need to recenter it back so you haven't got the paint sitting all at one end or the other. So I'll just pull that back. I'm actually going to leave this negative space there because I like it. Just tilt it back. Wow, 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 wow. I think what would look really nice in that is some um, Aussie slides as I call, like to call them so this is the Australian flow troll with them um, this one is the uh, purple Amsterdam paint so I'm gonna put some of the mix on there on this little piece of soft plastic and I'm going to just do some ribbons through it oh look at those wow i have to bring you down to see them they're just the most delightful gems popped up in there so i maybe just go one more not to overdo it just squeeze my it's what you'll hear referred to as a cell activator meaning that it will activate the cells to come up in your particular pore. So let's give this one a go. Oh, I don't do any more. That's beautiful. Finish off those little edges. So it's just using a little spatula. You can get in a little kit. Well, 
those colours. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous actually, that's really lovely. Okay, I'm going to bring you down and have a look at this. Come on down. Oh, just look at those gorgeous effects in there. Absolutely beautiful. And the glistening colours of the different sort of, what do they call them, strations? in the paint, all the layers, look at this, just like a gem trail, beautiful, it's a whole piece, it's kind of doing those um, what I call Aussie slides over them, let's give it like 3D floating effect, I believe. So let's hope the drying gods are with us and it turns out beautiful. So thank you guys for um, watching today. Hopefully you join me tomorrow. Hopefully you're all feeling well. If Remember, if you're feeling sad, lonely or upset, please um, ring a friend or a family member or a helpline. Always somebody there to give you a helping hand when needed, if only you ask. Okie doke. Bye for now.